In this video, I will demonstrate how to do Linux systems, authentication, authorization and accounting. The objective is to add groups, users and passwords on a Linux system, then verify the users' groups and passwords and manage permissions using symbolic characters and absolute values. But before that, subscribe to the channel not to miss more videos about Linux operating systems and networking. Hit the like button if you like this video and write in the comments if you have any questions about Linux operating systems or networking. Let's start by opening the terminal and we'll start by escalating privileges to the root level by entering the command sudo space su for super user and press enter and enter the password password and now we are using the root on the system meaning that you have root privileges let's add a new group named hr by entering the command group add space hr and press enter to verify that the new group was being added with success let's write the command cat space slash etc slash group and press enter and we can see that we have a new group called hr with the id 1005 now let's add a new user so write the comment add user space and the username will be jenny and enter the new user was created a new group was created then the user was added to the group jenny and the system created a directory for jenny and copied some files now let's enter the password for jenny the password will be la social and enter and retype the password so la social now you are prompt for the full name so we can just type jenny then the room number, you can type A35, work phone 555123, home phone 222555. But you can skip this information by pressing enter. Then we'll be asked if this information is correct. You type Y for yes and enter. And the user was created with this information associated to the user. Now we'll place the user Jenny in the HR group. So write the comment user mod space dash G space the name of the group HR space in the name of the user. So Jenny. And press enter. Jenny was added to the group HR. Let's add the second user named Joe. So the comment add user space joe the password will be tooth and retype the password tooth the name will be joe and we'll skip this information by pressing enter and is this information correct type y for yes and enter and also add joe to the hr group so user mod space dash g space hr and username joe enter so now we have two new users and both users were added to the hr group let's verify the created users in the passw file so write the comment cat space dash etc dash pass wd and enter on the bottom, you can see the two new users we created. Jenny, with this ID, all this information, in the respective directory. And then Joe, with this ID, no information, because we didn't wrote any information, and his directory. To view the users on the shadow file, write cat space dash etc dash shadow. And this is the shadow file. With the two new users created, we're going to manage the permissions. 
to enter a new terminal so we can use user accounts, press Ctrl, Alt, F1. And now you are on a special terminal that allows you to log in with a user account. We are going to use Jenny's account, so the login will be Jenny, and the password is LA Social. And we are using the account of Jenny in the system. Let's view the present directory. So write pwd. We are at home slash Jenny. Let's go back to directory. So cd space dot dot. And now we are at home. And let's list all the directories and their permissions. So write ls space dash l. We can see that we have three directories because we have three accounts. On the end is the username, the name of the directory. And here we have 10 letters or dashes that are the permissions for this directory. So the first field will be a D or a dash, meaning a directory or a file. The second two fourth field is for the user. The fifth two seventh field is for the group and the eighth to the tenth field is for others. Now let's enter Joe's folder as Jenny by typing the command cd in Joe. So we have access to Joe's folder. Let's exit the folder cd space dash dash and let's open a second terminal to access as the root. Press Ctrl Alt F2. And we have opened a second terminal, a tty2. Now we are going to login as the user root. So login will be root. And the password is secret password. And we are using root in the system. Let's open the home directory. So cd space slash home. Let's view the permissions to the directories. So ls space dash l and we can see to joe's directory for the others permission is read and execute the last three characters of the permissions so we are going to change the other permissions by making it not executable so write the comment schmod space o minus x in the directory is joe and enter. Let's list it again. And now we can see that the permissions for Joe directory for others is r dash dash. So now the permissions for Joe directory, the last character we can see there is a dash. So others cannot execute this directory. Let's go back to terminal one, control alt F1, that we are using Jenny. Let's again attempt to go into Joe's folder. So cd space Joe and enter. And we get a message saying permission denied. If we list with permissions, ls dash l, we can see that the directory for Joe, the other's permission can't execute this folder. So this is why we cannot access the folder. Because in this terminal, we are not Joe. We are using Jenny. What we did to the directory was to the others remove execute, but we also can do for the user or the group, and we can add or remove read, write, or execute. Let's exit the terminal as Jenny, so type exit, and we are going to log in as Joe. So login will be Joe, and password is tooth. We are now using the terminal one as Joe. Let's check the path. So pwd. Let's go back one directory. So cd space dot dot. List with the permissions. ls dash l. And now we are going to assign permissions using absolute values. As you can see on the table, the absolute value represents the permission for the owner, the group, and other in that order. So if you choose zero, will be none, no permissions. The number one is only execute, two is write, three write and execute, 
4. Read. 5. Read and execute. 6. Read and write. And 7. Full permissions. Read, write and execute. So, if you write the command schmod space 705 space in the name of the directory, so Joe, and press enter, what we did was for the user, we assigned the number 7. So the permissions read, write, and execute. For the group, the number 0. So none, no permissions. And for others, the number 5. So read and execute, but no permissions to write. Let's list to see. Now, others can read and execute the directory of Joe, but before they could not execute. So they could not enter Joe's folder. Using Joe, let's enter Joe's directory, so cd Joe, and let's create a file using the command touch space test.txt and enter. Let's list. You can see that we have a new file called text.txt inside Joe's folder. Let's try to access Joe's folder with Jenny account. So let's exit first. So login will be Jenny and the password LA social. As Jenny, let's try again to access Joe's folder. So write cd slash home, list the directory. And now in the Joe's directory, we can see others can execute and read. So let's enter Joe's folder, cd Joe, and we got in. If we list the contents of the directory, we can see the test file Joe created. If I attempt to create a new file, so touch in the name jenny.txt and enter, we get the message saying permission denied. Because on the Joe's folder, we can execute and read, so we enter the folder, but we don't have permissions to write on the folder. So we cannot create, modify, or delete anything inside the folder. We can only execute and enter the directory. So we learned how to add groups, users, and passwords, and manage the permissions. And now, subscribe to the channel, not to miss more videos like this, more videos about Linux operating systems and networking. Hit the like button if this video helped you. And write in the comments if you have any questions about Linux operating systems or networking. And I will see you on the next video.